Hi guys, my name is Michelle. I'm a tutor for Chegg Tutors and I usually tutor uh, English, Math, and Psychology. And today we're going to be talking about the endocrine system. So this system refers to the collection of glands in an organism that secretes hormones directly into the circulatory system. These glands basically carry hormones directly to our target organs. And uh, they regulate metabolism, growth, reproduction, sleep, and much more. Uh, these hormones, their function is to transfer information and instructions from one cell, from one set of cells to the other. And they move through the bloodstream, and each type of hormone is designed to affect only certain types of cells. The endocrine system is made up of the pineal and pituitary gland, the pancreas, the ovaries, the testes, the thyroid gland, the hypothalamus, the GI tract, and the adrenal gland. Whew. So, these glands, um, their function is they're a group of cells and they produce and secrete chemicals. So they select um, and remove materials from the blood, process them, and secrete the chemical product for use in the body elsewhere. Uh, the endocrine system gets help from other organs such as kidneys, the liver, the heart, and the gonads. And it works to regulate certain internal processes. So the endocrine system should not be confused with the exocrine system. The exocrine glands such as sweat and salivary glands secrete externally and internally via ducts. Endocrine glands do not use ducts. They secrete, they secrete hormones internally using the bloodstream. Um, there, are many, there are many problems that occur with uh, hormone levels, so too high or too low hormone levels indicate a problem with this endocrine system. And these problems can occur through a number of stresses and changes in the balance of the body. So your body needs, it's very important that your body has a strong blood supply to transport these hormones throughout the body. It also needs to have enough receptors at the target tissue. And lastly, the glands of the endocrine system have to release the correct amount of hormone. And uh, one very common endocrine disease is actually diabetes in the United States. And it's a condition in which the body doesn't properly process glucose because of the lack of insulin if the body produces it. So that is a little bit about the endocrine system. It is a very important system for our bodies, and I hope you enjoyed the lesson. Have a great night.